This video will not end until I cut a diamond on my one chunk Iron Man. I'm sure most of you know why that's such a big deal, but let's jump into it. I have to complete everything in this small area before I unlock any more map squares, and I have three things left to do. One is cook a curry with 60 cooking, one is to cut a diamond with 43 crafting, and the other is to fletch it into bolt tips with 65 fletching. The fletching is obviously difficult, but for the crafting, 43 is not the hard part. The hard part is to get to level 20 so that we can use sapphires from gem stalls to do our training. There are four things that work together to make this excruciatingly difficult. Number one, my only crafting training method is chiseling these blessed bone statuettes that you get from Valamore House Thieving, and they give 5 XP each. Number two, Bliss Bone statuettes have an over 1 in 100 drop rate from houses. Hold on, is that under 1 in 100? Well, the rate is under, but the number is over. Anyway, what that means is it's far from guaranteed for me to get one of these things when I go and invade someone's house while they're not home. In game, of course, YouTube don't come for me, I'm not committing crimes. The third thing is that we only have access to one of three possible houses to do this method, meaning two thirds of the time we can't get these at all. Number four, we're a UAM. Um, I mean, not really a UAM. We do have access to a bank. This is a hardcore currently, but as you can see on my chunk map, uh, there's no banks in our area. All these things together make this method really difficult, but we shall overcome, we shall get it done, along with heaps of other progress on things like our fletching goal and some combat training to mix it up. Am I gonna get this before the lady comes back? I think I am, 80 thieving. We can pickpocket from heroes. Another house where I got two bone statuettes. Those always feel so good. It literally made me jump when I got the second one. There's something I'm doing to optimize my XP gain and crafting here a bit, and that's if you look down here, I have the random event timer plug in active, and because I am overdue for an event, that means it's off cooldown and it can spawn in two seconds, one second. I didn't get one this cycle, so I just go straight back in the house. Oh, no, don't go in the house. Oh, I just wasted a key. Oh, hello, Mr. Leo. It's good to see you here. Alright, I'm on my way. Let's, let's go help with some graves. To the bank you go, to the bank. You go, you go, you go. And the strength potion, which means we have a vial banked. So, might unlock herb lore once we get secondaries into the frog token. Alright, I think that's all the things. Let's go finish that event. Do you mind giving me, like, a really, really green face? Like, a really green face. Oh, he gave me an emote. Dickhead. That was mean. I'm sorry, Leo. Please come back. You're a friend. Love you, Leo. 51 cooking. And why am I updating you on a mediocre, unimportant cooking level? Because this isn't really a cooking level clip. This is actually a fletching clip. You ready for this? 49 fletching. Oh my god, and six crafting were insane. How good is that? Combo breaker. <gasps> I didn't hit damage. Oh, and 17 strength. Oh, and I didn't change it fast enough. Damn, I could have done this so much better. And 20 defense. I can now wear mithril. Oh, the levels. 81 thieving. 20 strength, and that puts us at base 20 melees. It's not really required for this chunk to do any combat at all. But I do want to make it so that while I'm thieving from the gem stalls, if a guard sees me and I don't notice that I'm favoured in combat, so we continue training melee for the now. Oh, look at that top right. There's the number. It's a hundred thousand. We have one hundred thousand fletching XP, which means two things. One, this little graphic gets to update, which is so satisfying, but even more satisfying in real life here. I have a piece of paper, and on that piece of paper, here's my click of my pen. I get to do... Ah, cross off another circle. Ah, we've got up to 50 fletching. I am proud of that level. Yeah, 22 strength. Now that's super good. Because that means I can hit fours with my iron dagger. 
yeah, I count that as super good. Episode 3 has just gone live, so now we can let Rocky sit on the floor beside us and keep us company. You don't have to sit in my bag anymore. Hey, prayer. I was just feeling the need to train some combats. We've been doing that, burying all those bones. By the time we get to the Colosseum, we're going to need to have buried a lot of bones, because we're going to need overheads for that. It's the start of day 12, and although my complexion is looking a little worse for wear, we're starting with a blessed statuette, so it's going to be a good day. I can cook lava eels with 53 fishing. Thanks, Mr. Ironzell. Awesome. I haven't clicked food yet while fighting this guard, and I am heavily ahead. Come on. Come on, little Valamore chunk, you can win. Oh no, the guard's coming back. Oh, got the swordfish ready. No. It's a more dam. Nah, we're gonna eat food. And I'm glad I did. Damn, it's close. We're really close to being favored versus a guard. If I get one more max hit, I think that'll be it. Ah, oh, an XP random. Yes, please. Thank you very much. We're really close to level 7 crafting, so we're going to save that for another four bone statuettes and use it next level. Level 60 woodcutting. That is absolutely meaning nothing for our chunk, but you can now cut down yew trees. And if you look just over here, I see yew trees. They're in the neighboring chunk, so that could be super useful once we get to rolling. We have been doing some serious fletching. Wait, hold on, hold on. I got one not enough logs. Take two. two. We have been doing some serious fletching to get us up to 51. We're at 112,000 XP on day 12. If fishing random. Ah, I love these ones. And there's a super cool thing you can do so that you don't even need to remember it. See the statue? Right click and wait. And then we click net and it just runs us to exactly where we need to go to get the fish. And with that, we go from seven fishing and 377 total up to 10 fishing and 380 total. That's so cool, all those free total levels from the fishing. 82 thieving. Oh, three in one house. Three statues in one house. And that's actually insane that I got three statues in one house because three statues one, two, three is what I needed for seven crafting. And that's what I was waiting on to use this lamp as well. So that was whew, another 70 XP. Whoa, an elite clue. Is it the Sunfire Fanatic step? Because that would be funny. It's not. 55 cooking, another beautiful five level milestone. And it can make anchovy pizzas delicious. All, all without eating. Look at that. We killed our first guard without having to eat food at all. We're definitely not favored at the moment, but at least we know it's possible now. Ooh, we just got grimy snaps from uh, Bob the Cat and Prison Pete random. I think we'll hold on to those. Those are the first herbs that we have on the account. We have no way to train herb lore, but we do have vials, access to a water source, and we have no secondaries. So it's not triggering any challenges and it's really far away from triggering any challenges, but it's like the, the next piece of the puzzle. A couple of people have pointed out that it might be possible to get a red topaz in my chunk from searching various crates or wardrobes and things, but most of the stuff in this chunk is all not searchable. If I find something that is searchable and has the potential to get one, uh, I'll click it a thousand times to see if we get one, because the drop rate's one in a thousand. And if we don't, I'm uh, probably not going to go much further than that, because it doesn't help us and it doesn't unlock anything a higher level. So, yeah, I'll see if it's possible. That'd be kind of cool, but I'm not going to commit to it. Are you ready for this? Choo! Oh. There it is, 30 strength. It does not increase our DPS at all and hasn't since my last update on strength. But it ends in a zero and that's nice. Oh, Lavinia's leaving. Let's go over there. 61 wood cutting. I can use it like a dragon axe, right? Yeah, look at those things. We'll get one soon, promise. Oh, 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 hello. 
I wasn't expecting that to come up, but I managed to not cancel it. We got Tempraya, that's got a zero at the end of it, and that makes it good. More Thieven. Oh, one more statue for another crafting level. Oh, and there it is, the bony little boy. That is not only the final XP that we need for level 8 crafting, but it's also the final thing I'll be doing tonight. That is the very end of the day. It's 11.53pm on day 13 in this chunk, and we've just hit 8 crafting, and we're at 122k fletching. So I bid you good night, Rocky. I will see you tomorrow. Ooh, our very first Freaky Forester random event. I would love to help with your pheasants. Oh, two of them. Okay, our second Freaky Forester. I didn't see the number. Four tails. I can count to four. Use it. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Show me pants. Show me pants. Oh, not two hats. I can't hold two hats. This is a fancy hat, though. Oh, oh, look at us. I did not realize, but I got an HP level, and that put us to total level 400, which seems like a pretty decent milestone for being only in our second chunk. 52 fletching. I had better not burn these two swordfish, because I started making a clip. Oh, shit. <laughs> there we go, fixed. One more level to get our chunk task finished. Ah. Man, I love getting the bone statuettes. It honestly makes me smile every single time I pull one. 35 strength. That is the highest strength level that we are planning to get in this chunk. We may end up getting more because training combat's just a nice way to break up all the crafting and fletching training. But for now, we're switching over to attack and defense, which we're both going to try get to 30, at which point I will find myself favored enough against the guard that I'm happy to be stealing from stalls. Because the last thing I want to do once I get to 20 crafting is start clicking stalls and have a guard hit me and me not realize and die to a guard. That would be embarrassing. Good morning, it is the start of day 15 in the chunk. And with that we have finished our cooking grind. I can now cook curries. Let's go do that. So we need a meat and a potato, a bowl of water from the counter in the general store, and spice from the spice stall, Rocky's favorite place. Let's see if I can do this first time. We cook the beef. We put it at that. Oh, I just right click ate it. <laughs> I forgot I clicked left click to use. <laughs> okay, take two. We cook it and now we don't right click it because I already changed the option. And we chuck in just a whole potato, spice it up, that's left click drop. Uncooked curry, go! Yeah, curry completed. That is another one of our chunk tasks ticked off. Only the two big ones left to go. Oh, and I almost forgot, last night I was doing mobile gaming and I got my, I think, third mystery box on this account. Let's see what we get. Not a body room. Hmm. Not a body room. 84 thieving. Fishing random for free total level. What does that put us to? 13? Yeah, 13. It is the start of day 16. Good morning, and our cash stack has just passed a million GP. The stack of valuables next to it is worth about twice as much. I can trade this in for about 2 mil. Once I unlock the person, I can trade it in too. Oh, we got it! This is the only easy clue that we have access to in our chunks, I'll go show you. If we come up here to the Grand Museum, just up here, we have our stash unit and our remote clue. We do not have access to a blue skirt or a turquoise robe top and won't for a long time, so this clue will not be completable, but it's cool that we finally got one that's in our chunk. If I look at my loot tracker, that is my 137th easy clue, which I think is lucky because there's like 160 steps or something. Level 9 crafting. And we will use this lamp here to get another huge XP boost. Oh, those lamps feel so good. Yes, I know it is better to save them for later, but doing a grind like this is not about getting it done in the fastest time possible. It's all about the mental. All I have to do is keep doing it and I'll get it. 
And if I burn out by not using my lamps and not getting all that dopamine, then I won't finish it, but this way I will finish it, so I shall be using my lamps. Now this coffee is about to run out, I'm gonna go for a walk, so, uh, bye. One of my personal favourites, the Quizmaster, can give us a mystery box. What do we get this time? I think this is number four on the account. <gasps> yeah! That's a huge upgrade, that's amazing. Wow, that makes us so tanky. Look at those bonuses on that, that's going to be so good for surviving guards if I accidentally click on one. Wow, okay, I'm stoked. That's the best random yet, that's better than an XP book I reckon. Keep that hardcore safe. Thank you Quizmaster, thank you. Oh, it's a massacre. Whew. We beat that guard and only took, what's that, 8 damage? Yeah, yeah, steel plate body, good. Big thieving level coming in. 85, which is for elves. Which I'm sure I'll get to pickpocketing in like a week or two probably. Back to back quiz masters? Do we get something insane again? Not that I'm asking for it, I'm really happy with how our quiz masters have gone. Having a steel plate body in our very second chunk where I shouldn't be able to get one is amazing. And we get... Dun 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 dun! Look at that, you need a fletching level of 65 to chisel them. I'm working on that right now, game, don't you worry. <gasps> it truly is a blessed day. There's two lamps in a single day. And that's an enormous lamp. Like, a really big one. Because, that's level 10 crafting. We're now 10 levels away from being able to train crafting in a, like, reasonable and normal way. <laughs> That's so cool. I'm so happy with that. Good morning, it is day 17 in our chunk, and over last night while I was on mobile, I got a blue wizard hat from an imp that just wandered by. And that is our best in slot hat for combat. It's the only one we've got that has combat bonuses. Though I can't mage yet, so I really want to send it to my bank. The unintended UIM-ness of not having access to a bank yet is starting to hurt. My inventory is really getting filled up. But like frog tokens, I feel bad if I get rid of a frog token, so we're holding on to that. Then we've got some unique items from random events that unlock uh, access to other skilling options. And I'd really like to get those to the bank ASAP. Leo, mate, you want to just pay us a visit? Another wonderful fletching level, level 54, but that's not the best bit about it. If we look at our XP, that shows us 150,000 fletching XP. That means I can turn another one of these logs into a bow, marking us as three-ninths of the way done with our fletching goal. 86 thieving here at Lavinia's house with some more bone statues ready to be used soon. But you know what, since I'm recording, let's just send some statues. Wasting some searches, but look at that XP go up. 55 fletching, 10 levels left of that, we can make maple longbows. Oh, and Lavinia's coming just back in, just in time to look out the window and see me get a crafting level. There it is, 11 crafting. Leather van braces? I would love some leather van braces. Good morning once again, and it is the day of the 19th day in this chunk, and there is 65 wood cutting for Sulioseps. Coming in with 87 thieving, which is almost 4 million XP. We are almost a third of the way to 99. There's a new item I can get, and well it's not new, it's, I've just figured it out. If I use a knife on this tree, I get a bucket of sap. That's a thing we can get in this chunk and I didn't realize, but now, now I know and we've got a bucket of sap. And it's going to be taking up another inventory space until we get a Leo random. Oh my god, please Leo. Leo. Like, you're my, you're my best mate, please come back. It is mystery box time once again. This one is number five. Cabbage, yeah. Ooh, a drill sergeant random, yes please. I think these turn into lamps now. Thank you very much, Damien, we will be taking that. All right, do we use it now or do we get, we probably try save that for level 12, I think. So let's go really focus on that crafting and leave the fletching behind for a little bit, even though we're so close to a level, look at that. 
Ah, 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 he's here. Leo, 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 Leo. What do we want to bank? We want to be that and that. So we're going to take them off. Yes, please. I'll help you with some graves. Deposit. Sapphire amulet. You can go to the bank. You can go to the bank. Bucket of sap. Not important in the slightest, but it's a thing we could get. Let's send it to the bank. Frog tokens, send them to the bank. Blue wizard hat, send them to the bank. Strength potion and vials, send them to the bank with ye zombie mask as well. And sandwich to the bank. All our herbs to the bank. That extra inventory space is going to be so good for fletching. Yeah! And as well as being able to bank stuff, we also get zombie walk. Let's do let's do a zombie walk. Ah, it's like me before I've had coffee. I made some gains in between clients at work today. Uh, we got 56 fletching, so pretend that's a clip that's happening now. And while I was there too, we had account check show up. So now we've got two lamps ready to go for when we hit level 12. So I need to get nine more statuettes ASAP. You almost wouldn't believe it, but that is back-to-back -back XP randoms. This is so lucky. M my crafting is going to fly up. Good morning, good morning. It is day 20, and Lavinia is here, but we have some stuff to deal with first. We got 30 attack. This was the attack level I was planning to get to be able to beat guards, but that was before we got the steel chest. Uh, I definitely don't need this anymore, but uh, now we've got it, and that's nice. We're going to go to defense as well, get that to 30. The other thing we have is we've got the final bone statuette for a crafting level. There's level 12, and you know what happens now. We got super spooned with the lamps. Oh, this is going to be wonderful. 120 XP, 120 XP, and we save the next one for when we get two more statues. Okay, let's go get two more statues. Oh, Lavinia went home. Why'd I record a clip? I should have go stolen everything from her house. Obligatory 88 thieving clip, but onwards we go. Sorry, Lavinia, you just missed me. Yeah, I had muddy shoes all over the floor. 13 crafting, I can cut jades. <gasps> oh, those XP lamps are so good. We got so spooned with those last level. That's crazy how many we got. And our next random's a dunce. What is going on? I, I guess Jagex just loves me. That's nice. Thanks, Jagex. Love you too. You, you guys are doing great. Thalamore, awesome update. And you know what? That's just a level, so sh sure. <laughs> Why not? 14 crafting. Pumping. As we run to Lavinia's house, uh, look at our fletching XP. We have passed 200,000, meaning we get to cross off another one of these. Ooh, just got a bone statue, but 89 thieving. That's why we're making a clip. It is day 21, and we have been putting in a huge effort for the crafting. These statues we've got here. I'm sure you could have guessed, but there we go. We get another level, level 15 crafting. Just five left to go. Or is it five left to go? Maybe it's four left to go. <laughs> 57 fletching. No, <laughs> my old accountant here just got my first ever four statue house. That's insane. Oh, yes, we got feathers. That's so good. That's fletching XP. Thank you very much, Maze. Also, that's a lot of arrows. Can you use iron arrows at level one? Range guide ammo up to iron. Look at that. All right. Bronze arrows, you can get out of there. We're holding on to iron arrows now. Let's turn these feathers into juicy, juicy fletching XP. Ah, Those drops are wonderful. And there they go. Well, that was nice. I might hold on to those, see if I can get them to the bank with a Leo. With this bow right here, we have level 58 fletching. On the way to 65, that is seven levels away. So we are officially halfway done with the fletching on day 
22 at the very end. Oh yeah, I had a mystery box too. Cri <gasps> yes! <laughs> That's amazing. That's so good. If we actually get um, the Fortis Colosseum, I can't even speak. If we actually get that before the sword shop, that makes it significantly more likely to be able to get through some of the waves. I am so happy with that. Ugh. Yes! Good morning. We have a level coming in. 30 defense. This Mist Scimitar is absolutely pumping. We can hit sixes now on like defensive and stuff. And I don't know, maybe we can get up to hitting seven soon. It's nice just to do some combat to break up the grind. But also, we have some statues. And an Imagine recording a clip where I mention statues, you know what's coming next. It's a crafting level that's 17. Oh, I might as well make a clip for a woodcutting level. I haven't done that in a while. So there it is. Oh, hello. This very late night 59 fletching. And along with that, we have a late night mystery box for an onion. Watch that fletching XP number. It's passing another 50,000 threshold. That's a quarter of a million fletching XP from normal trees. Good morning, Lavinia has just come home from being away for the night and I went in and I stole a statue and there it is, level 18 crafting, we're getting so close now. Woohoo, 90 thieving, what a big number. I knew I was going to get it and it's going to go a little bit higher, not much higher though, we're getting pretty close. 69 wood cuttings. Alright, alright, this is a really big deal. And um, I, I really needed Leo as well, but that's not what the clip was for. We have a fletching level coming in, and it's not the finishing one, but it's level 60. And why is 60 super important? It doesn't even say on the level up table, but I can now cut yous into arrow shafts. Oh, careful viewers, I'm gonna cut yous into arrow shafts, eh? If you look in this chunk to our right, there is a yew tree. And there's nothing below that. So this fletching level means that if I roll this chunk here, I can do all my fletching training up to doing U shields simply by AFKing U's. And having an AFK training method would be amazing. Because these regular trees are so many clicks. <laughs> First statuette of the day, it is day 25 and we are still going strong. That's another Sergeant Damien done, which means a lamp. And this would get me level 19, but we're only seven statuettes away from getting the level from the statues. So I'm going to do that once again. We're going to save the lamp for the next level. Well, there's the final bone statuette for the level, but we're not going to use it yet. I'm going to use it in the morning. Okay, good night. Have a good one. Good morning. I logged on and I instantly got a Sergeant Damien random event giving me another lamp and you know we've already got that 19 in the bags oh what a good start is today going to be the 20 crafting day it's going to be today or tomorrow we are really close let's just cash in all that dopamine crafting xp oh and the big drops it's also really nice to get some of that inventory space back I am just craving a Leo right now Oh, we're so close. How many is that? 20 more statues. That's all we've got left. 20 statues, and we're done. Ooh, 91 thieving. Surely that's the last level we get, right? Surely. Ooh, look what I got between clients while I was at work today. We got a Leo random, so all that crap you saw before, that's in the bank, and we have a lamp. Now, this lamp would get us level 20 crafting but come on I'm, I'm gonna use a statuette for 20 crafting I've got to do that so let me give you a couple of seconds what do you think I'm gonna do with this lamp all right time's up I bet you didn't guess that <laughs> all right now why did I do that well, I'm going to leave that a mystery for this episode. I'll tell you why I did that next episode. Um, if you think you've figured out why, there are clues. You, you can figure out why I did that. If you've been paying attention to the series, and especially recently, you might be able to tell why. 
And if you put down in the comments why you think I destroyed that lamp and you guess right, I'll feature you in the next video and I'll read out something that you want me to read out, be that a shout out or some dumb message or something. But yeah, best of luck, see if you can figure it out. Oh, a double statue house, can we make it a triple? We only need one more statue for 20 crafting. Mmm, didn't get the triple, that's okay. We are so close, look at this XP. 5 XP left till level 20. There it is, we did it. Yes! That is 27 days later. 27 days, we did it, fuck yeah. Oh, I bumped the mic, ah, oh, 20 crafting. <laughs> yeah. Can now cast that with 50 XP. Oh, let's get right on that world up. Gem store crafting. Yeah. All right, let's look at the method. We steal from this crafting store. We walk around here and we steal from this one as well. Gems acquired. Then we hop worlds. And once our inventory fills up with sapphires, we cut them all for crazy crafting XP. <laughs> I've been getting like five XP drops every 10 minutes. <laughs> I don't know if that's accurate, but that XP is insane. That feels so good. Wow, look at that bar go up. The other thing we're going to do to begin with is we're going to slow down our XP to make some sapphire bolt tips. You know why? Just because I can, why not? I will make some of these. Yeah, some of these. 27 crafting, meaning we can now cut our emeralds as well. And I think the emeralds we will be turning into bolt tips now, and the sapphires will just be dropping. Because look at the XP when you do this. Oh my god, that's so slow. <laughs> I was making clips for 5 crafting XP, and now I'm making clips for 7 crafting levels. We can now cut our rubies. You know, I'm really glad I got all those combat levels before this. I've aggroed guards multiple times, and it means I don't need food. I just beat them in a fight now. Also a little bit thanks to my mystery box RNG. Can't be overstated. Here's something cool. We get 92 crap. Thieving. 92 thieving, that's halfway to 99. I was actually expecting before this to get a little bit higher than that, so I think I must have got a little bit lucky with lamps during the houses. Alright, with our world top in. When I steal from each stall twice, and then move between the stalls, cutting and dropping the gems on the way, I'm getting just over 23,000 XP per hour in crafting. This is so good. <laughs> okay, watch this, you ready? Just stand out right in the middle of anything. Yoink a gem and world to- Ah, oh, I didn't get it in time. Last time it worked. Hello? Resolve, please. World top. Excuse me. Tap, tap. Hello? Anybody home? <laughs> oh, am I hitting a world top limit? I forgot that's a thing. I haven't hit a world top limit in ages. Right, we might just go do some fletching for a bit and then come back and finish off this crafting grind later. Here we go as those sapphires tick away. Another clip for nine levels. That's 43 crafting. You can now cut diamonds, which is, of course, one of our chunk goals. There it is, leaving us with just one task left to complete this chunk and start rolling new ones. Cheers for hanging out and watching today. I hope you had as good a time as I did and in the next one, oh man am I excited. We're going to be rolling chunks or maybe just one chunk or maybe like 10 chunks. Who knows? Maybe it'll be easy. Maybe it'll be the Colosseum and we get stuck for years. <laughs> I won't get stuck for years, promise. We'll do things. But in the meantime, I bid thee farewell. Have yourself a wonderful morning or night, and jump into the description of this video and check out the link to my band. Ciao.